Good afternoon YouTube. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I um, was sitting earlier looking through my RC collection and I looked at this little um, Nano of mine which I bought probably about four months ago maybe. I can't remember so well. Um, bought this at the local shop here, the local um, shopping center. So this wasn't bought online or anything like that. Um, this is the, I think you pronounce it, the Zhengzhou XY and nano quadcopter um, it you could probably relate this or relate this to, to the cx10 which is a very familiar one i wrote here skywalker because today i decided to see if i can actually find something with this specific quadcopter online and i actually did find a review from frequent flyer the one that he's got is actually called the Skywalker, so I presume it was just renamed or something like that. But the one I got never had the branding on it. So I um, did not um, keep the, the packaging except for this, so I can't show you that. Um, so unfortunately, because that time I didn't really think I'm going to do any sort of YouTube clips. So this is my first Nano I bought. Um, to be honest, I don't think Nanos are the best beginners. I don't think that it's the right um, quad copters to get. I, I would probably suggest a uh, micro or mini uh, rather than uh, Nanos. I think Nanos are more difficult for beginners to, to learn on. Uh, if you have, haven't flown anything else, uh, X or uh, Ishin, um, those type of quad copters are, are better learners than, than those little ones because these things are quite tiny and you lose orientation quite quickly so for beginners it will be a tough one uh, to do so let's quickly have a look at you what, what I got in the in the box USB charger I marked it XY so I know which charger it is I'm, I'm too scared to use the wrong USB charger with these nanos because I heard the, sometimes the polarity is not the same so it can actually damage the battery or even damage the charger and it also came with a little Pinch sticks for the guys who likes to pinch uh, pinches. I'm not a pincher. I like to fly with my thumbs, and uh, had a spare set of props, which um, I think I broke one or lost one. I can't remember where or what I did with it, but um, this thing is really, really durable. So you don't really have issues with with this. This is the controller transmitter. I like uh, the fact that buttons is on here. I like it much more. Preferred much more to the ones if they're sitting down here because it's really not convenient you can't really go there so this shoulder buttons is good this year it's your your rates it actually only has two rates a slow and a fast rate like the uh, cx10 that actually has three rates but this one only has two apparently you can fly this with um, some other versions of other controllers flip button this thing does awesome flips really it does uh, this is definitely one of my best flippers when you have your normal trims which you normally have and that's a the power switch as you can see so that is a normal standard and then we have uh, the little nano Let's see if I can get this thing to focus correctly here we go XY it's got the normal standard connectors which comes with your with your nanos it's very really similar to the, the Cheerson it's got your on and off switch there it's got red LEDs at the back and the blue ones in the front just the way I like it you'll see this thing has had um, some serious crashes I, you can see that little plastic which holds uh, uh, the top of the body and the bottom together already broke off on these two so it all flies quite well and this thing is normally very stable um, with this nice sturdy props it's not f as flimsy as the ones I think comes with a the CSN CX10 so I think this one is a, a much better build quality and it's also got I think flies much better than the, the CX10 I'll have a look and see if I can find uh, links to this XY somewhere online uh, I haven't really looked to see where you can get this um, but this is a really really nice flyer if I'm not mistaken this comes with a hundred milliamps um, battery so it gives you about five minutes of flight time originally charge times were probably about 45 minutes a quick one on a on, on a on a manual you'll see where I, like I said I wrote on Skywalker because that's what I only reference I could get to this to this little thing this is not a best manuals or 
in uh, leaflets you can find you'll see there are uh, 3.700 milliamps lithium battery lipo battery 20 meters distance they say but you'll see the translations is not that good use first nut i don't know what that means and then here you'll see the charge uh, it's in english sort of english in the top and then it's i think went to german for some odd reason so it's a bit confusing so i never really read this uh, it doesn't have any headless modes or something like that which i really don't care for so that doesn't bother me this isn't really much a nice flyer so you don't really have to to stress about having having that functions because i don't think headless mode teaches anybody really anything uh, this is a CX10A, so let's quickly compare while we add it. Take it over. I bought this from Banggood case as well, so I can just take it out. You'll see it's almost identical. If you have the same, if you have the same color, you would probably have difficulties to distinguish the differences. I uh, see they line up quite nicely in size. And something which is different from, from this XY is that the controller is actually not as small as the ones that comes with uh, the CX10A. So you'll see it's quite a difference. So, which I like this one, you feel much better with, in your hands than that one, and it feels more, com more comfortable. So, so yeah, this is my quick, quick review on the XY5036, but also known as a. Friendly as a Skywalker. So thank you for tuning in.